So Tom and I are both staying in Lark Hotel properties. I'm at the Ale House Inn and he's at the sister property. The Ale House Inn is a historic inn, it's a boutique inn, and it's right in the historic Market Square district. And uh, it's close to restaurants and shops and also a lot of historic sites. So I'm here at the Moffat Ladd House and Garden. It was built in 1763 by Captain John Moffat, a wealthy shipping merchant. And um, this tree right here was actually planted in 1776 by William Whipple, right after he came back from Philadelphia and signed the Declaration of Independence. The grounds of the Moffat Ladd House and Garden include obviously a large garden. It's uh, more than an acre and a third, and it's just stunningly beautiful back here and quiet. You wouldn't know if you were walking the streets in Portsmouth that this was here. So I'm in the uh, backyard of the Warner House. He was one of the wealthiest uh, shipping merchants in the area at the time. Let's just, before we go, peek inside and take a look at this uh, beautiful home. So I picked one room to show you, and this is John Warner's dining room, set in the way that it would have been back in the day. And it has been in the same family, it was in the same family for 200 years. This year it's celebrating its 300th anniversary. It's just, it's just an incredible, incredible place. I really want to thank uh, Mark Ankerberg. He was the uh, sort of behind the scenes docent at um, Discover Portsmouth. And he gave me the, uh, he was the curator of my uh, walking tour. And if you go to Discover Portsmouth, they will curate yours also. They'll give walking tours, they'll give you maps, they'll, they'll tell you about gardens and homes and all kinds of maritime history and things to do while you're here. You definitely need to stop in to discover Portsmouth when you visit Portsmouth. Up next, Tom is at uh, Wentworth Marina, and he's going to do a marina profile.